What's up and welcome. So sorry for the delay, but I've had some issues with uh, YouTube and now no internet at all. But we finally fixed it. So let's let's wait. Sorry for all of you who have been waiting. Today it's a bit earlier. It's like 1 p.m. here at our place. So super early for the US. Uh, but I picked a, a topic that uh, probably um, a lot of you are interested in. So yeah, let's let's see. As always, please leave a comment uh, from where you're watching. And uh, in case you haven't subscribed to our channel, this is a unique chance that you've got. And uh, yeah, let's just wait a bit for a few more people to come in and then we can get started with our today's topic um, how to sell boas and uh, i can imagine that this is quite an interesting one maybe not all the answers are uh, gonna make you happy but uh, that's not my problem all right so I am a bit under pressure, under time pressure today. We just finished uh, preparing the shipment to the US. Um, and I am on my way. Hey, Bill, today you made it. And I am on my way to set up, a, a, how to say this, a, a showcase. Um, with my other company, uh, with the King Krabs. Um, we're gonna attend the show the next two days. So it's uh, quite a busy time. All right, so um, let's get started. Like, why did I pick uh, this topic at all to um, how to sell boas? Uh, it popped up because someone messaged me uh, and was asking for a VPI ad stack uh, head anery female. Um, it's like they are listed for, I believe, a bit above 1K, 1 1.2K. 1 uh, really nice, lovely VPI ad stack head anery, I believe from 2022. However, uh, I got a, a typical reaction that you get quite a lot is like, there is. Uh, I can get a VPI ad stack snow for this uh, kind of money. And uh, I was simply replying, um, all right, do this. If you have the opportunity, uh, go for it. And then uh, he was like uh, replying and sending, sending a screenshot. And he was like, I'm not lying here. Look, this is a screenshot. And I'm like, yeah, well, let's go ahead, go for it. And um, it's like, and it got, it, uh, it, I started questioning, why are you still communicating if you apparently have another opportunity that is, uh, that is so much better than what we both are talking about? And um, so there might be a bit more to it than just the price of an animal. And um, I thought this is, a good uh, opportunity to just uh, simply talk about it. What is like, um, no, how to say this? Uh, how to sell boas and what, what is like, why are some people advertising the animals so much cheaper than they should like probably, uh, like way undervalue to stay it like this. Um, and in my opinion, there are certain reasons for this. And uh, however, let's get started on the other way around. Um, in my opinion, like how or what does it take to sell the animals that you are uh, breeding? Um, so, of course, only if you feel like you want to breed your animals. But um, like 
for me, the main currency of, um, of, of, of the of the way that we are we are living right now is the main currency is attention and um, when I'm talking to people um, like yeah how often are you posting the animals that you have available like oh I already posted them I already put them up on Facebook like last month and uh, so this is like you got to post or if you want to have the attention of people, then you need to produce content, if you like it or not. Or you need to think about another way how to, you can get the attention. In my opinion, if you want to get started, you should be posting at least once a day, better three times a day on three different platforms, three different social media platforms. This is like what it takes if you want to gain attention. Um, it is not helping to reduce the price. Like, um, I, I have this a lot, like people are getting kind of desperate. If the animals are not selling within a month, then they are cutting off the prices by 50% and again by 50% and so on and so on. And they, they ask themselves, why is it that my animals are not selling? And of course, also, if you are new uh, as a breeder, what you need is you need to think about how can you build trust. So how can people that do not know you get to know you and understand how you take care of your animals, etc., etc., and how, why should they trust you? So at least this is my recommendation. It might be a good idea to show yourself on social media, not just your animals. Um, also, I get it a lot that some people are like, I only have 20 animals, I have got nothing to post. Um, at least you have 20 animals in case you have anything to sell. Uh, probably you have at least 15 babies, whatever. And uh, you can post them on different uh, surroundings on different surfaces, um, in your hand, uh, on a hook, uh, in the cage, uh, on the bedding, whatever. So you definitely have multiple uh, occasions. And also you can just talk about like um, there is something that is uh, called a uh, content tree. So this is like there are so many different things um, that belong to the topic, keeping boars, breeding boars, etc., etc. So you can talk about humidity, you can talk about heat, uh, you can talk about husbandry, you can talk about breeding, you can talk about how to feed the animals, um, how you clean them, how often you clean them, what kind of disinfection are you using, um, and so on and so on. So there are a lot of things you can talk about, um, but in the end, one thing is for sure, it's work. So it's not like you will not be smiling all day long and you will not always feel like you want to do a post now. This is like the work that is necessary, you have to put in. And I'm also like um, astonished by the fact that um, there are still a lot of people out there. Yeah, I'm, I don't know why no, nobody is buying my animals. I posted them on Facebook. All right, where, where else did you post it? Like, uh, there are still quite a lot of people out there. Uh, and this is not a paid advertisement, but there are a lot of people out there that are not using Morph Market yet, for example. Um, and I can just tell you, uh, just at least get the free version of Morph Market and get started, uh, make a profile, put yourself up as a breeder um, and post the animals that you have available. So this is like the next thing, um, what it takes to, to sell the animals or what is a really good way to, um, how to say this, um, to support that you wanna sell uh, your boas is that you should have a website. 
Uh, some people say it's old fashioned because there is more of market, because there is Facebook, because there is Instagram and YouTube and so on and so on. But you just have to imagine what happens if one of those platforms decides uh, to not allow animal posts anymore. Um, this would be real shit. So I can only recommend, uh, especially if you are a bit of a big, bigger breeder or you have the uh, idea of doing this professional, um, get yourself a website, get yourself a good website, get yourself a website where you uh, talk about all the different things that belong to boa breeding, that you um, put on the animals that you have available and so on and so on. And um, so because you never know, you always should have an, an update, uh, not an update, a backup. You always should have a backup of um, how, to, how to show that you have animals available um, without using social media. I realized it when I got hacked on my Instagram account. That was back then, it was close to 60K. We still didn't reach the 60K. We somehow got it back, but it was a real pain. And you just have to imagine what happens if your social media account disappears from one to an day to another. This is like a real uh, disaster, at least if you put in a lot of work. And talking about a lot of work, um, when people tell me that they, um, no one knows them, uh, no one uh, is following them, it was the same with me. Uh, no one knew who I am. Uh, there are still a lot of people out there. They, they never heard of Imperator Morphs. They never heard of Tim. And uh, so, and I believe we have, I, I posted on our Instagram account close to 5,000 posts right now. And this is like the one account. We set up a second account because we got hacked. Uh, and this one is like close to 8,000 uh, follower or a bit above, I'm not sure. Um, however, it is about consistency. You have to post every day, every day. You can like, sometimes you can even schedule the posts. Um, but what I want to say is always try to think about what kind of value can you provide to the people that are also interested in boars or in breeding boars, keeping boars, uh, etc. It is not enough to just post a list of animals that are available and uh, take some shitty pics um, and hope that someone comes around the corner immediately and buys the animals. You have to plan that you keep an animal for like two years from now till it sells. Uh, you are not selling slices of pizza. If you want to sell something on a daily basis, um, go and sell pizza. <laughs> I can just recommend it. And then you have to sell a bunch, a fucking bunch of pizza. But it's uh, like, you cannot expect that um, a customer is waiting on Instagram uh, to buy an animal for 2000 euro. This, is, this simply will not happen. And um, I lost track. Um, so it is definitely a, a lot of work that you have to put in. And if you're not willing to do it, it is not enough to just cut off the prices, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And this is like the example from where we started. Um, why is someone asking me, um, like, hey, I can buy another animal um, uh, cheaper uh, that is even better than what you are advertising. At least this, this is what he says. In the end, he just w tries to uh, push me to, um, to it's in my opinion, this is a bad style of negotiation. Um, of course, you can like point out that you feel that the price is too high and that if there is uh, anything that we can do about it, but um, do not start to compare it what others are doing. Um, damn it. I have uh, so many different uh, thoughts in my, uh, in my head that uh, I'm 
getting lost <laughs> from time to time, but um, like in this case, uh, I, I got a picture of the animal that was advertised and um, there, there was a VPI at 6 no. Uh, that was available for, I believe, 1.2, 1.3K. So, in my opinion, this is way under value. Um, but this is a perfect example of the, the kind of desperate, uh, the, the kind of the desperation that this guy thought this is what he needs to do to sell his animal. But apparently it's still not selling. And what I want to say, if someone approaches you and be like, hey, um, there is another animal that is cheaper uh, than yours. You need to lower your price. I can only recommend stick to your price. Think about why do you believe that this uh, animal got such a value and stick to it. If you are convinced that this animal is at this price level uh, right, then stick to it and wait. And if it's necessary, you can wait for a year. You can wait for one and a half or two years. Uh, in my experience, especially with females, people nowadays are not patient. And this is like the main challenge that they are facing is um, no patience. They don't want to buy a 2023 female. Um, for like a reasonable amount of money. Uh, so I keep them for two years and then they are desperate to <laughs> receive a, a two-year-old female. And um, so I can only say stick to your prices. You know, uh, I mean, if you're not able to explain why you think that the animal got this and that in value, um, you can always obviously uh, also like double check have you been right by setting the prices at this amount that you have uh, like uh, imagined. Um, but I want to also recommend to not always be like, oh, someone else is doing this. Uh, okay, I'm going to and lower my price. Um, because on the other hand, uh, most of the times the, two, the super cheap um, offers are for a reason. Um, and uh, <laughs> I just got distracted. God damn, Jesus, you're in the wrong chat, my friend. <laughs> um, all right, so you set your price level for a reason and just stick to it. Do not uh, someone distract you and uh, most of the times if there's a super cheap um, if there's a super cheap uh, offer out there this is just uh, like one animal and if this one animal is sold then you have like the price level as uh, where it was before so yeah this is like uh, what I what I think about this topic, and also when it comes to creating value um, for the customers that you that you are uh, looking for, um, I can also like recommend. It's not just it starts with a good picture. Like take good pictures of the animals. Do not take a picture of your animal next to. Uh, the last chat next to the last shit or whatever. Um, take good pictures where you can see the whole animal in a good light and not like, look how dark, how beautiful red this animal is with super high contrast uh, and uh, like to take the picture in the shadow, for example. So this should be common sense, but when you're scrolling through Morph Market, you see this stuff like um, all the time that the pictures that are taken are not the best. But there's even way more uh, to it than if you want to provide value, is like how often did the animal feed? Um, you only sell animals that at least had 10 meals and uh, that are really nice started and strong. Uh, you always provide proper paperwork. Um, 
I get so many requests for, from people that are, I bought an animal, but I don't have the paperwork. Please tell me what I bought. Um, so this is health checks. It's, it's the same. Uh, do you get any certificates, um, any health checks, uh, whatever, any guarantees? Um, like if someone is selling animals with mites, you don't have to expect uh, to have a fantastic reputation, uh, for example. Um, what else? Um, I think that like, there is still a lot to talk about this topic, um, but in my opinion, you have to gain more uh, followers, you have to use more social media platforms, you have to post frequently, you have to provide value for uh, your customers, not only just by providing healthy animals, but also to have like all the proper paperwork, etc., etc., and also be available um, to like talk to them, make video calls, make videos for them, um, take individual pics, individual vid uh, videos. Um, this is exhausting. This is a lot of work and probably depending on the amount of animals that you have available, you kind of need to structure yourself to not forget anything. Um, but it's worth it. So this was a real quick uh, 20 minutes from my side because I'm already on my way to meet my, my partner to set up our uh, king crab booth. Maybe I'm posting a picture later today uh, so you know what else I'm doing if I'm not uh, walking in circles in my uh, facility. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and um, yeah, share this video if you feel that it was helpful. And uh, enjoy your Sunday. Take care of your animals. I hope to see you next weekend. Not even sure if I'm going to have the time to go live, but I will give it a try. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye. And the animals to the US are leaving, by the way, uh, like next week. And I keep you posted. Bye.